You want to write like Edgar Allan, but you don't want to be Poe like Edgar Allan. There is an untapped market in the poetry world that has millions of dollars for all poets, but all the sad boys, all the sad girls, and all the, all the people who have the logical insanity syndrome will never see that opportunity. Sad boy alert, sad girl alert, please exit this reality now. Yo, I have some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is that you don't suck at poetry like Rupi Carr. The bad news is that you can't exploit the post-literate masses for millions of dollars like Rupi Carr. Every single year, tens of millions of dollars are spent by students and their parents on creative writing programs at universities. And what results do they get? Most MFAs after three years don't publish any books. Their professors publish no books. Their professors are also not judged on a system of meritocracy, but of diversity by filling a quota, by publications in journals that nobody reads, by publishing their books at small houses that, that sell no copies. The New York Times 11 months ago published an article that stated that 98% of books published in 2020 by major publishing houses sold less than 5,000 copies. And if you guys know the average commission rate for authors, which most of the time is less than 10%, that means that most authors didn't even make $10,000 for publishing their book. Oh, the big book publishing. So what options are left for poets to make a ton of money? And why does money matter, you may ask? Well, if you're providing value for people, actual value, not the fellowship value, not the government grant money value, the invisible money they print in the Federal Reserve and give it to poets. I'm talking about creating real value from scratch in a bluegrass way. If you can make a million dollars as a poet with the method that I am going to describe today, which is the only viable method for 99.99% .99 of poets out there today, unless you meet the small identity publishing standards, and that's what happens today in the publishing industry. You guys already know that publishing houses do not care about the objective standard of poetry. Because if they did, why do they have a team of marketers, of diversity specialists, of PR agents who spend all year finding a certain identity to push, then finding the poets to fit inside that box, and then they market the crap out of those poets, and then they win awards, and they go out, go out on writing and speaking towards, and people obsess and say, I've never understood this perspective. But there are hundreds of poets, and you may be one, who live in what I call the Kindle graveyard, where they self-publish and sell a couple books a year that are on an objective level, 10 times better than any of the top poets, any of the poet laureates, any of the poets winning awards today and going out on these tours. But they do not fit into the woke ideology that is being pushed by these publishing houses. And if you have a problem with that, then you are stuck in the Hegelian dialectic of the Republicans and the Democrats of politics in the modern age. And you need to escape that if you are going to actually be a poet, because that's what poets do. We do not get stuck in little pitter patter dialectical politic games. We break through all barriers with our emotions, our intellect, and our intuition. That is what poetry feels like. It doesn't feel like a diversity quota. It feels like absolute expression to the max turned up. We need to escape the dialectics in the publishing industry also. And I'm here right now to take you through the process. So step one is you need to find your vibe because if we are going to find a thousand new fans, and that's what it's going to take to make a million dollars a year as a poet. You need a thousand true fans. You need to find your vibe because there are millions of readers of poetry out there. And like I said, you just need a thousand. You just need a thousand people who will devour your work. So what's your vibe? For instance, I am, you know, I do yoga and I'm mystical. So I have a very eco poet meets mystical vibe. And I dress like that. And I kind of talk like that. And my content is geared toward that. And I enjoy hanging out with those types of people. So that is my vibe. And I learned a lot of that vibe from Robert Bly rest in peace just died he's one of my favorites favorite poets of all time he had that vibe and if you don't know what your vibe is pick a poet who you like and mimic them at some level and eventually after mimicking them a little bit you will start to suddenly become your own person by standing on the shoulders of giants you can start reaching new trees and hopping to other trees 
So how do you find and build this vibe tribe of a thousand raving fans? The first thing that you need to do is create your own website that you pay monthly for, whether that is your WordPress site, is Squarespace, whatever. And you need to publish 10 or 20 of your best poems on there. Just get them out there so that people can understand your vibe. You need some social proof in this game. You need some authority. And the best way to show that as a writer is to show some of your best work because you have an unlimited creative wealth. No one's going to steal from you. Stop having this, this, scarce, this scarcity mindset. A way to spread your work is to give life to your poetry. Hop on Canva or Photoshop and make, you know, transform one of your poems with images. Maybe go out into nature and recite some of your poetry. Turn it into a song. Have other people recite it. There are a million creative ways to get your poetry out there. There are also a ton of different ways for you to create content that can also expose your poetry to more people, such as YouTube, social media, all these different things. So the second thing you need to do is create an email list because email in 2022 is still the most effective way to sell things and that's what we are going to be doing to make millions of dollars of year a year as a poet you need to create a product that people will give you their email for and this could be a short poetry book it could be maybe a video on how you write poetry a short course on your favorite poet poet or on writing poetry whatever you can think of and this is called a league magnet you could release a podcast series there's so many different ideas and eventually once you get 50 to 100 people on your email list we can move on to the next step which is the most important of all and once you are at this step you need to start asking your email list questions because those 50 to 100 people are in your vibe tribe and they have certain desires needs and they are lacking in certain areas you need to be an explorer an investigator and figure out what those areas are because those are going to be the same needs desires and lacks of you're the other couple thousand people who also resonate with your vibe and who are eventually going to be a part of your thousand true fans. Once you understand the needs and wants of your vibe tribe, you are going to then create four different poetry courses or literature courses that you are going to run at four different times of the year for eight weeks each. And that's so about two months each, four times a year. So eight months of the year, you're going to be running these courses. And they're going to be co and I'm, I'm telling you guys the method that I think will work for you that I that I am seeing other people use. And these are going to be certain types of courses. For instance, you could do a beginning poetry course where you workshop workshop people's poems go over some of your favorite poets and you put a lot of time into it you know you're putting a couple of hours of content out every single week for those eight weeks everything you know about poetry you could also tailor it to your vibe so pretend you're an emo emo poet you could do advanced emo poetry and have a small group of people in there or a very large group it's, it's actually not going to be small it's going to be your thousand true fans are going to be buying this so you are going to do this four times a year and you could do this on repeat or change things up but if you find something that works then keep doing it so now we are going to look at a couple case studies and hop on the calculator so i can show you guys how this all works in real time so let's check out an author and a poet that i really love he's an eco poet named david white i would recommend all of his books he has a huge following for eco poetry and environmental you know thinking you know a lot of a lot of book sales but he does something every single month called not every single month but couple times a year called three Sundays where for three for three Sundays in a row he'll talk about a certain topic for two hours basically riffing off some bullet points he charges sixty dollars for this I've signed up for one of these and I was in the zoom call you know in the zoom calls there were over a thousand peach thousand people each week in the zoom calls and I assumed that there were hundreds of more signed up because he posted the lectures later and you know not everyone can make it but let's just take that number 60 and let's say David you know got on his game and he did one every single month so a thousand times 60 is 60,000. Let's say he did that 12 times a year. Boom, that's 720,000. We look at his book sales. He self-publishes a lot. There's a ton of reviews. He must sell thousands of book a year, thousands of book a year. Um, let's, we'll probably add $80,000 into that at least. Then if we look, he's also an acclaimed speaker. He's developed himself into a person who probably speaks for 10 to $20,000 per event. So. And then if we, he has digital downloads, runs in-person workshops, creative writing workshops. David White, if he wanted to, could push over a million dollars a year. But let's focus on you. Let's say that, let's focus on our courses. So we are going to have four courses a year. 
And let's say we have a thousand true fans sign up for each of them. And these are in-depth eight-week courses that have interaction and you hours of content and they are very deep for your niche. I would say a reasonable price and what a lot of people charge and even less than people charge for stuff like this is $250 for the amount of effort that's going, you're going to be putting a ton of time, especially your first time building these courses. You know, eventually you're just going to be repeating a lot of the same stuff. So 4,000 times 250, it's a million dollars, everybody. There it is. There is the big kahuna, right? You have now made a million dollars a year. I promised a million dollars and here it is. All you need is a thousand true fans. If you sleep eight hours a night and work 40 hours a week over the next 15 years, you will have over 50,000 hours of free time. Is that enough time for you to gain a thousand true fans? I think it is. In that time, you could also probably develop the technical skills or earn the money to hire people with the technical skills to run four courses per year and charge $250 and put enough value into that course that you can justify that amount of money because universities charge thousands of dollars, even the cheapest universities. I went to community, I started off at community college back in, you know, 2012, I was paying $800 per course. And I think I had a in-state discount. What about out-of-state colleges, prestigious universities, people that pay thousands of dollars for these courses and they own, they get most of the time no value out of them. But you as an independent content creator who is aligned with your Vibe Tribe, because when you enter into a college classroom, you have no idea who your professor is going to be. Maybe you've researched them or heard about them, but you're not aligned. All of your audience and you, everyone, it's going to be a consensual agreement and that's going to give them, they're going to want to enter that agreement even more because it's with you. So let me know what questions you have. Let me know how I can help. Subscribe to the channel because I am going to be breaking this down step by step and trying to do this myself. That is my goal to be able to do this myself and show you guys the process of doing this. But go ahead and take this, take these ideas and go on. But once again, stay tuned and there will be more on this topic. Peace.